Welcome back to Jay's Reptile World Australia everyone. <coughs> Today we're going to look at two different subspecies of the death adder. So, death adder is a venomous snake in Australia. Australia only has a lapids as their front fang venomous snakes. They have no vipers, pit vipers or adders in Australia. So this is called a death adder but it's actually an lapid. First we get out the common death adder. You've got to watch this female, she is very aggressive. Slightest bit of movement and she strikes out. So she's an extremely aggressive snake, this one. So, see her there. See how they flatten out? See how they have that adder look? This species is actually an ambush predator. You can see the tail there? It actually has a caudal lure on the end. They will flick that tail to um, lure prey. So they're very hard to find in the wild because they're always hidden. Always in ambush position. She's quite large, this female. The common death adder, which this one is, actually found over most of eastern Australia from around Townsville. There's a large population on Magnetic Island. They head south through all the way to Victoria and across just into South Australia. They also go across the southern of the southern tip of the Gulf Country and into the Barclay Tablelands and actually the Barclay Tablelands is where you get the largest of the specimens where they're over a metre long so you get to about 1.1 metres in the Barclay Tablelands you get a wide variety of colour phases this is a red colour phase, we actually call this one a velvet red she's actually getting a bit old so she's losing a bit of the bright colour, she's going a bit drabber with age she's a great breeder you also get greys, you get light coloured ones, huge variety. I'll get the northern death adders out in a minute and you'll see a bit of variety in colour there. So, very aggressive this snake, I'll make sure Brian doesn't get too close. Because you, within striking distance she will tag you. This is one animal you'll probably never see me touch because there's nowhere on this animal I can touch her without her biting me. It's actually impossible. So. A lot of death adders are pretty placid, but this female, she just strikes at the slightest movement. So when I put the male in for mating, I actually have to take her out, put the male in, and then put her back in so she doesn't bite the males. She's just that aggressive. As you can see, beautiful species. Lapid snakes are actually front fang, fanged venomous snakes, but their fangs are fixed. They don't fold back when the snake closes its mouth. So that's why. It's, a lot of Australian snakes have, lapids have smaller fangs than the vipers and pit vipers from overseas because their fangs actually fold back into their mouths. Also have here the northern death adder. I have a couple of different colour phases to show you here. So, nice orange one here. So, as you can see the northern adder does not get as large as the common death adder. These are actually adults. The northern adder won't, will top out at about 70 centimetres long. Whereas the common death adder can get over a metre long. So you can see on the head there, they actually have a rougher scales compared to the, death, the common death adder. That's one of the keys for identification. You see a wide variety of colours. When you touch this snake and they flatten out, you'll see the colours come out in the scales. And that's a warning sign to predators to leave them alone because they are dangerous. The northern adder is found across the top of Australia, um, over the whole of the Gulf of Carpentaria and across the top end of Northern Territory. There's actually another, another colour phase over there which is actually called the um, floodplain adder and they have sort of black around the tip of the mouth and they're found around Humpty Doo area in the Northern Territory. Beautiful species. Live bearer, this species does not lay eggs, they have live young, which is good for me because it's easier to deal with babies than eggs. This is one species I never touch because you cannot touch them without getting bitten. These, this is a male and this is a female and they've actually been mating lately. So There's actually a big difference in the breeding regimes between the two subspecies. 
the common death adder over here, they actually mate in early spring and they'll have their babies in early summer. Whereas the northern adder will mate in the middle of summer and my females always drop their babies in April, which is the end of the monsoon season in northern Australia. So they must have their babies late in the season so that the babies can hide after the monsoon rains. So if the ground's flooded from the monsoon rains, the babies would be too exposed to predators. So that seems to be the main reason the two different breeding regimes between the two subspecies. You see such a wide variety of colours. A wide variety in size difference between the two subspecies. One of my favourite snakes, the death adders. You just can never touch them, that's all. You see the rugged shields on this head there, because it's a bit sm smoother on the common death adder. There's another subspecies, the desert death adder, the pyrus, and the rugged shields are even more coarse on their head as well. So one of the keys for identification between the species, subspecies. See the quarter lure there on the tail? They will flick that to lure prey. They can even lure things such as small birds, but it's normally lizards and small rodents. Also, the common death ant has suffered huge declines in numbers in much of its habitat largely because of habitat destruction, but also because of cane toads. Whereas up north Queensland, where the northern death adders are, there's cane toads everywhere and they're still really common. So the northern adders must primarily feed on skinks, whereas the common death adders have a wider variety of prey. So that's why they're affected more by the cane toads. Beautiful species, very dangerous. Before the invention of antivenine, it used to be a 50% death rate from bites from the death adder. But ever since antivenine was invented, there's been no fatality. So it shows you what a wonderful job the antivenine laboratories do for the Australian people. They save countless lives, magical work they do. Well, there you go, there's your two subspecies of death adder. The common death adder and the northern death adder. Make sure you like and subscribe because next week we'll be looking at a couple of different the black snake species from Australia. We'll see you then everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.